Georgetown, Delaware, water torture, where a victim is forced upside down, essentially, while high-velocity water is forced up the victim's nose and mouth till they go numb, they pass out. It's a horrific torture. And no, it's not going on today in Nazi Germany, not the Hanoi Hilton, not Vietnam. It's Delaware. The mastermind? A TV pediatrician. So I want to go straight out to Kelly Steele, news director at WGMD, joining me from Delaware. Kelly, this doctor has mingled with Barbara Walters, uh, Stossel, Larry King, Oprah for Pete's sake. And yes, this apparently isn't the first time, Kelly. But let me just start, Kelly Steele, with the water torture, the alleged water torture of his 11-year-old little girl. What happened? Well, here's the thing, Nancy. I think you spelled it out best. Thank you for having me. Uh, this is the same water torture uh, that CIA operatives and, and others use in the global war on terrorism. So it's a heinous crime. It's an unfortunate situation. It's a heinous crime. Uh, this doctor, this pediatrician, uh, he was working at this Milton practice one day a week uh, for the past two and a half years or so. Uh, and this all started last month, in the month of July, as a domestic dispute after a neighbor reported him dragging this 11-year-old daughter, his stepdaughter, across the driveway in the gravel. So that's how all of this started as a domestic dispute. A domestic dispute. Kelly Steele, News Director, WGMD. Are you telling me it was a domestic dispute that started between him and his wife? Or started between him and... The the way we were described by state police, uh, the uh, neighbor saw him dragging his daughter across the gravel. Um, and uh, the police would not uh, talk to us about it initially. This all started on uh, July 12th, I think. Uh, Dr. Morse grabbed his daughter by the ankle. Uh, the neighbor saw him drag her across the gravel driveway. The kid is kicking and screaming. Uh, he then allegedly takes the child inside the house. He starts to spank her. Uh, the very next day, he's arrested and he's charged with uh, two counts of endangering the welfare of a child, one count of third-degree assault in connection with the incident, uh, and he posts $750 bail and he's released. Right there, right there, right there, right there, Kelly Steele, $750 bond. That's On it. that, you have to pay about $75. With me is Kelly Steele out of Delaware, also joining me, Brett Larson, investigator reporter. So, Brett, this whole water torture thing came about, or at least came to light, after he is seen by a neighbor dragging his 11-year-old girl, and according to our sources, it's his natural daughter, uh, along gravel. She's grabbing her by the ankle, which means she's either face down in the gravel or on her back in the gravel, and drags her up a driveway, I, I understand, into the home, drags her across gravel then goes in and spanks her. Now, that's got an eyewitness. What do we know yeah. about the water torture? And people, this is a guy who has been touted as an expert on Larry King, on Oprah Winfrey, for Pete's sake. Who doesn't love Oprah Winfrey? Uh, Stossel used him. Uh, 2020 Barbara Walters show used him, extolling him as an expert. He's got some kind of an institute, for Pete's sake. T tell me how it went from dragging the girl and nothing happened. He didn't go to jail. He made bond on about $75 to water torture. To wa water torturing his own 11-year-old daughter. And, Nancy, I mean, you brought up a lot of really good points here. This guy wrote a book, Closer to Light and Transformed by the Light. Basically, a pediatrician who wrote a book about children's near-death experiences takes his own 11-year-old daughter and waterboards her. And, and she says, she tells police that he told her he could do it for up to five minutes without causing brain damage. And she said she was afraid because he would often look away. She was afraid that he might look away and forget how much time has passed and that might kill her. And what's worse about this, the mother standing right there the whole time witnessing the entire thing happen. And sometimes she would get out of the house, run out of the house and start crying. He would go outside and find her, put his hand over her nose and mouth so that she couldn't breathe and he would hold it there until she relaxed, until she basically went unconscious, and then he would drag her back into the house like he did when he dragged her by the ankle 
over the gravel driveway. This, this man is, is, is a monster.